Yeah, the Molten Tigrex has a devastating roar. Even more devastating than the Brute Tigrex, that's for sure. <clears throat> Basically, the uh, the Molten Tigrex only has a few new attacks. It's a combination of the Tigrex meets the Brute Tigrex, which has the ability to have a devastating roar that he uses as a uh, somewhat of a projectile, like that right there, as you can as you guys can see. Also has a Teostra-like mist. It doesn't explode, but it does allow you to. Uh, Get Blast Blight. He also can spam that uh, Roar move about three to four times. I've had it happen to me like once where he did it five times and thank god I survived. He can be trapped. I believe he can also be captured. Uh, if he can be trapped, he should be able to be captured. He's not too difficult besides that, but if you get hit by his roar, that, that really hurts. Especially when he's enraged. Made a mistake right there, shouldn't have been there too long. If you ever get hit by that miss, all you have to do is roll like three to four times, depending on how long the dust or whatever has been on on you and everything. <clears throat> Fight isn't too bad though, you just gotta be careful. Got two traps set up, sweet. By the way, for the record, um, Dragon Element doesn't hurt this guy as he is resistance. He has resistance to it. The only reason I'm using this weapon is because it's my newest one I just created. And um, I don't really have a Water Elemental or Ice Elemental weapon, which are his elemental weaknesses. Good job, guys. Good work. was less than six minutes 
<clears throat> pretty good run. Got a Tigrex mantle, that's pretty good. The hardest thing to get from this guy, it's like a 2 to 3% chance, is the Dire Blast Heart, I believe it's called. Got a second mantle, that's crazy. And this guy can carve like four times, and Tail's only a one carve. As you guys previously saw. 